I'm with architect Mark. Well, that's right. It's certainly these days, uh, you know, being in the third millennium, uh, we all have to realize that uh, as, as we consume and uh, make decisions about uh, products, what we buy and what we throw away, and that, you know, it'd be an odd thing to think that way, but it now it starts to include buildings as well. I mean, we've grown to appreciate the value of say, a very large tree and what it does in order to cool us down. It's not only just shade and everything else, but and it's a it's sort of a cultural statement. But we start to realize that the infrastructure uh, with the buildings have been put up with great expense in the past, and especially buildings in the recent past. We have to really think hard before we start to take them down. It's not even buildings that are purely about uh, you know have historical meaning, but it's almost really anything. Uh, it took a lot of effort to build buildings. It took a lot of effort for for the environment to grow the materials. The, 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 the beams, the timbers and everything else and then to sort of throw it away like you throw away a coffee cup is basically has come to an end. Uh, so all these kinds of decisions need to be weighed. Uh, it takes the environment uh, uh, close to 50 years to basically renew itself to replace what was taken out, what was extracted in terms of gravel, in terms of uh, you know uh, significant timbers and the making of brick, the heat required in order to make uh, concrete, it's phenomenal. Concrete has uh, takes about eight to ten percent of the world's uh, carbon dioxide production uh, as a, as a, of course a form of pollution, and so really adaptive reuse. It's really far more imaginative design thinking that needs to take place so that these buildings can take on a new role. And of course Toronto has had good examples with the reuse of warehousing for, for uh, you know, for live work uh, facilities. And the same thing is we should be designing buildings that can be easily adapted for new usages and to get off this throw away idea or plan for obsolescence, you know, that we just do away with it because we can't use it anymore. That's over. Thank you. <laughs>